In this quick video, I'll show you how to check for dead pixels on your monitor. Pause it at red, green, or blue and check for dead pixels. I found one in the corner here. I took a closer look at it with a USB microscope. It's completely unnecessary, you can just use a magnifying glass, but it's nice to plug it in and be able to see it. Using this film, you can measure the pixel width and height. The pixels are about 0.2 millimeters tall and about 0.05 wide. You can see here that it does not turn on when we flick it back and forth. The green one is broken. So in PowerPoint, I definitely recommend documenting your dead pixels by drawing a circle around them. Or you can just put a piece of tape to mark it where it is, if you don't have PowerPoint. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download that PowerPoint to check your monitor and mark it up. So now that you found your dead pixel, run this stuck pixel fixer. I just ran the last three hours at 1.5 times speed, because I have a 144 hertz monitor. Woke up the next morning, checked it out, and look at that. Now the pixel is turning on. All of them are turning on and off now. It's a little bit darker than the rest, but it's better than completely being dead. So I wasn't really sure that would have fixed it, but these burn-in videos and dead pixel fixers definitely work. So give them a try. If you're wondering, the monitor I got was this 34-inch gaming monitor. It's 1440p, 144Hz, and it's nice and wide. allows you to see everything. Great view angles, you can see it off to the right, above it picture looks great from all angles. It's on sale for a great price right now. I'll leave a link in the description and you can also get it for 10% off using this coupon code. So definitely do that. I got it for just over 500 bucks using that code. In the States you want to search Google for the latest coupons. It looks like you can sign up with your email and get 10% off as well. I ordered it on the 26th and got it 13 days later. So it's a little bit of a wait but still worth it. I've had my last monitor for about 10 years and with the recent upgrade in technology, I think this 1440p and 144Hz monitor is worth upgrading to. So I'll leave a link to the coupons and some of my affiliate links if you'd like to support my channel. Thank you to all my current subscribers. I hope that video helps you out. And thanks for watching. Here's a little bit of additional information regarding the Dell Stuck Pixel Warranty. If one or more pixels are bright, then it's eligible. But if they're stuck off, you need six of them to be eligible. So that's actually quite a bit, but that's the nature of monitors because it's hard to manufacture them without dead pixels. So you can buy it from Best Buy or Amazon if you really want to return them when they have dead pixels. Those can be returned, no questions asked. Otherwise, you definitely have to rely on those videos and run them for 10 hours straight and hopefully unstick those pixels so that you can enjoy gaming, video editing, photo editing with a nice monitor.